Well, so I, I've seen some photos for Zardoz, some uh -huh. titillating, tantalizing photos. <laughs> yeah. Matt, did you uh, did you watch this uh, already in advance? Yeah, I watched it yesterday. Oh, okay. Somebody had to. Somebody had to know what the fuck was <laughs> happening. Good job. Really? Is that part of our mission plan? Our you, trust me, you need someone to explain to you. Somebody needs to guide us through this wilderness. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to hold your hand and walk you through this, and I, it's going to be me. Did you oh, yeah. Did you do any research into the backstory of this movie? I, be, because that... I did. We'll do context. That's good, ah, because I. Perfect. that's what I'm actually looking forward to, knowing what how this happened. We'll do a little context before we start, because once we start, you're not going to want to talk about anything else except what <laughs> you, what's happening on screen. <laughs> so Amazing. Uh, I saw 10 minutes of this movie and I'm already blown away like I don't know mm -hmm. so bad you'll be like our Moses through the uh, through the promised land I will take you through it yeah. I will I'll hold my hand and everything will be okay <laughs> so is Zardoz a person or a place wait till you find out <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Warped, the completely unnecessary Star Trek podcast where we ordinarily do uh, commentaries of Star Trek episodes. My name is Sean. My name is Matt. I'm Jake. Philippe. Aaron. Min Win. And I say ordinarily because today we're not watching Star Trek. No, we're we not. We are watching the great Sean Connery starring 1974 sci-fi fantasy film, Zardoz. <laughs> And you may ask yourself, I don't know. why are they watching Zardoz? To which I say, you mind your fucking manners, all right? Yeah. It's our podcast, and we'll watch whatever the fuck we want. I mean, that this was one... weirdly aggressive I know. for the introduction okay, to a podcast. we're walking it back. We're walking, we're walking I it stand back. by you, Sean. I'm no, there. I don't walk that back. Uh, yeah. I mean it, man. We're watching it because Aaron... We love you. ...picked, and, it was, and this is the movie mm -hmm. she picked. It was, she was intrigued yeah. by the... Infamous image of Sean Connery in the in the red mm. bandolero and uh, high heel and boots diaper. Tonight outfit. is ladies' night. It's ladies' <laughs> night, <laughs> and we're feeling all right. Mm -hmm. I think Zardoz was my prom theme, so I'm gonna have a lot of uh, memories of this. Mm. And we're all drinking pina coladas. Yeah, yeah, we are. Min, to Min made excellent pina coladas. Cheers, yeah. guys. Because he Wonderful. likes getting caught in the rain. Thank mm -hmm. you, Min. I don't even like pina coladas, and this is a very these are good, good cup. Yeah, drink. yeah. So we're watching Zardoz. Let's... I watched it yesterday. I'm the only person who's who's yes. seen it um, in the world. In the possibly <laughs> in probably the only person in this century. Yeah, who's, who's the only person. In Zardoz. <laughs> yeah, the only living. Uh, 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 you don't person. think Sean Connery puts this on just every now and then to? Well, to... Sean Connery's Not... dead. So no. yeah, yeah. So he probably Not lately. Yeah. Okay, we're walking that back. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what he entered the pearly gates wearing. So, yeah. As a hilarious joke. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to think of Sean Connery walking around heaven in this outfit. This movie is absolutely batshit insane. I've never felt more uh, comfortable. It's so I so in. crazy. It was it was I knew it was going to be crazy going in. It's crazier than I could have possibly <laughs> anticipated. Do you know? I mean, do you want to start, or do you want to? No, I need. I think we should do a little context real quick mm -hmm. before okay. we start yeah, the movie, yeah. just because once the movie starts, it's a, there's a lot to take in. It's a, <laughs> it's a runaway freight train at that point. You're gonna want to talk about what you're seeing, so yeah. let's do context real quick. Mm -hmm. 1974, John Borman. John, I I always thought Famous of this director. as being like a shitty kind of mystery science theater quality movie because it's got such a reputation yeah, but john borman is a legit yeah. like big time movie director the movie he made right before this was deliverance oh. so he's coming off an academy award nomination for best director a big smash hit so this is kind of his like blank check movie right he had he did this big huge blockbuster movie and this was his next follow-up he wanted to make lord of the rings that was what he was working on was a lord of the rings adaptation wow that would have been dark that fell apart because it was too ex it was going to be too the expensive the studio didn't want to pay for it but he was kind of in like and side, no one wants he was to in, see that shit no one yeah right <laughs> lord of the rings who wants to watch that no. that doesn't sound like That's a good not idea make any money in but he was still in this sort of like sci-fi fantasy like headspace, right? So even though Lord of the Rings fell apart, he still wanted to do something in that kind of 
realm, speculative mm-hmm. fiction realm. So he comes up with this idea for this. I mean, when I say it's crazy, you guys, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It is not successful, this movie. You'll understand why once <laughs> once you've seen it. You will not be surprised to learn that this movie was not successful. But then a couple of years later, he makes Excalibur, which is another big hit. So his, his, his career continued to be successful after this. This is like a weird aberration in his like filmography and i feel like it's every big director feels like they have to make their sci-fi movie right Right. like all the famous directors are like i gotta do my 2001 right and Mm. this is his this is his stab at a big sci-fi movie uh, it was originally supposed to star Burt Reynolds because Burt Reynolds had been. I was going to. I was going to make a joke that it should be Burt Reynolds. It was supposed to be I because they had just worked together. They had just worked together in Deliverance, Deliverance yeah, sure. and oh. and had liked that. Had liked working together. Sure. Burt Reynolds got sick. It doesn't say of of what in on the Wikipedia page. I don't know what hmm. the but he drops out. He drops out, which has got to be the best decision Burt Reynolds ever made (laughs) in his entire career. He might have seen uh, the designs for the outfit. He might have said, I'm not doing that. The casting people must have had a certain amount of body hair in mind. (laughs) (laughs) They went from one right to the other. So Sean Connery steps in. Sean Connery's at a weird spot in his career in 1974. Mm-hmm. He d- he made his last James Bond movie right. in 1971. Okay. So he's done with Bond, but doesn't hasn't really like g- he hasn't gotten to that sort of like elder statesman space he gets in the 80s with like The Untouchables and where he has that sort of big career resurgence. So he's in he's his career is kind of in this weird limbo zone where he's He's working. He makes a lot of movies, but they're not very good. They don't really connect. So he's agrees to do this. And I have to say, having seen it, it's not a good movie, but Sean Connery is 100 percent committed to his performance. He's doing in this his movie. job. He does things in this movie that I can't believe he agreed to do. Hmm. I can't believe that Sean Connery said, yes, I will wear a full white wedding dress in in a scene because you know sean connery is like um a man. famous for like James a man being a like manly the man right. he is so fucking weird in this <laughs> i cannot scene. wait so that's where sean connery was at and that's where borman was at and now i think you guys are ready that's context corner. i think i know oh who... did what? you guys just hear that yeah okay what? my ear my my headset just went so did mine. Oh. Oh, maybe okay something now? something just made a weird sound. Anyway, it's gone. Um, I think I know who the co-director of Zardoz uh, is. Who? Drugs. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's, <laughs> you're not wrong. I don't think because it's, it's just a question of which drugs. It's a very 70s. This movie is 1974. It's very 70s in its sort of like themes, which we'll get into when we start talking about the story. It's very 70s in its sort of like weird psychedelia sort of visual style. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm I think you're probably 100% right about the rampant drug use that I'm assuming was happening behind the scenes of Zardoz. Mm. And a lot of sexuality too. I'm it's sure. very 70s and it's and it's like yes, it, this is a very <laughs> horny movie <laughs> in ways that my... are in ways that you we would consider problematic now. <laughs> I came with my down down to pond far shirt. Oh, on Sean's wearing his down to pond far shirt. I almost wore mine today, but I'm great. glad I did. Matt sent a text out to everybody that there was tits, so much tits <laughs> in this movie. I was getting very excited. I, I don't think I said so much tits. You said something like that. Read the text. I don't, I, did uh, he say so much or so many I, or something like I that? I think I said, "Oh my god, the tits." <laughs> um, it's it's got that '70s vibe in it, and I think we should start the movie. Yeah. I got one hour, 46 minutes and four seconds. We had rented it on Amazon. If you'd like to watch along, and I'm punching the triangle in three, two, one, punch. Yeah, Zardoz. <laughs> the beautiful 20th Century Fox defunct movie studio. Yeah, Fox made this movie. Uh, so that means Disney owns Zardoz. Uh, that is they can add Disney Zardoz Plus? to the MCU. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He should get his own uh, land at Disneyland. No, Disneyland. So right oh, from the Zardoz. start, the very first thing you see is this guy floating in Just headless, head. floating in space. And he says... 
you guys at, you guys were asking before we started recording like who is Zard like what is Zardoz? Uh, this why guy, is Zardoz? Why is Zardoz? <laughs> it's a better question. How is Zardoz? So this guy is giving you a little bit of like this is just like the beginning of Dune. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's like it shots. is kind of it was like ringing. the beginning of Dune. I think it was. Is yeah. that Virginia Madsen? Yep. <laughs> this is the Virginia Madsen of this movie. Oh my god. He has Why what looked to me like a, on his a, beard? a drawn on goatee. That doesn't look that's like. That's just what no, happens when you're totally, an immortal puppet yeah, master. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're drawn on. Yeah. I can <laughs> see like that a, to you guys later. They if made you a want. choice. It feels like a kids in the hall sketch. And you know that's a choice because <laughs> yeah. they clearly had that's Dave Foley right fake there. hair <laughs> technology in the 70s. Yeah. Sure. Th yeah. This was an artistic choice. <laughs> they, yeah. like, they, no, it no, could no, have no, been no. yak fur. Yeah. Don't give him the yak fur. <laughs> Just use a Maybe shark. Maybe they I like, used it all on Sean. And Cameron. the way they Bye. move his head around the thing, it's like the it's like that oh, when you're like on. your TV with the DVD logo would go bounce oh, around the right. different corners of the TV. And it also doesn't it like. I don't know if you noticed, but it just cuts off at his neck like yeah. a yeah. solid horizontal yeah. line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really funny. That's where his turtleneck ended. Yeah. So we tell they tell you right from the beginning. It's the year twenty two ninety three. Right. This movie will remind you guys of a couple of different uh, original series Star Trek episodes. Sure. Aaron, you'll recall uh, <laughs> an episode called The Cloud Minders. Mm. Look at that logo. I do like that I logo. I love the logo. logo is I was nice. seriously thinking about yeah. getting us all Zardoz t-shirts. That, yeah. yeah. that is a band. heavy metal oh, like, yeah. logo. Yeah, I like that. I that's a, is that Zardoz? <laughs> that's Zardoz. So that's Zardoz. Yep. That looks like Zardoz. Um, that that floating Zardoz looks wow, like Wow, Sally Ann mm -hmm. Newton really got paid. Yeah. Her name was way bigger than everybody else on that. <laughs> yeah, that floating head is I ominous. I know. This is an amazing movie already. Just from <laughs> visual perspective. I'm yes. like pulled in. So they all wear these uniforms. All with, of, all of with these guys. helmets oh, of some man. kind. It feels a little too. The helmets are the face of Zard. Are the oh, same the face shape as, of Zardoz as that rock as the rock mm. Zardoz. It's a little 2001 and also D&D &D to me. The actual poster for Zardoz, the, the tagline on the poster was beyond 1984, beyond 2001, mm. beyond love, beyond death. Zardoz. <laughs> wow. I kind of love it. And this didn't become a cult classic? It has. In oh, like, I think okay. it is now. There's like, a reason why you've seen that meme. Right. He, certainly the outfit is iconic. Yeah. Do we have any artistic backstory now. on the size of this head? Like, <laughs> what, is this the, the, the scale here? Yeah, it's it's a gigantic floating head mm -hmm. that is called Zardoz. He's kind of he, they worship him. Oh, well, you would. I, mean, <laughs> right. uh, I don't know why you, you wouldn't. Yeah. Where, I mean, was that a sacrifice? Was right? He's about to say to them, the gun is good. The penis is bad. <laughs> there he sees it. Says, the gun is good. And they're all like, yes, the gun is good. And he says, the penis is evil. <laughs> oh, Okay, wow. and this is the not penis, a god I can get behind. The penis shoots seeds and makes new life. <laughs> wow. What? Yeah. I, but the gun kills life, and that is I, better. I didn't know what to expect, but I was not... Expecting anti-penis rhetoric. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. I got to tell you, when I watched this yesterday, I did not, I did not know what to expect. And this is not a good movie, but it is a. It was so entertaining. It's a ride. It's, it's a, a great. I mean, I had a great time watching it. It's bad. <laughs> but it was, uh, guns, guns, guns! Uh, so then, I, then Zardoz pukes out a bunch of guns. guns. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Yes. So is Zardoz all about population control? Because you've 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 yes, you've yeah. sort okay. of nailed it. I'm um, like, is it one of those weird cults where they don't want you to have kids? It is. Well, yes. There's no uh, there's no lady Zardozian zealots all, I'm seeing that I'm seeing yeah. so far. No, the so a lot of ponytails, but yeah. and, the, and then Zardoz these. flies away, right? And there's Sean Connery. There he He's is. gonna turn around and point the gun right <laughs> yeah. at the camera. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Wow. Well, just, so that's wow. the that's the intro. That just, would just have been a good movie like, right there. Just like the <laughs> I'm completely train satisfied. Movie. And then we're gonna see and Zardoz fly across the screen very <laughs> yeah. slowly while yeah. the credits roll. I think the thing is Zardoz's one weakness is speed. <laughs> <laughs> that's swift. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he might puke guns at you, but he's got so a if, if say a large giant head. So there's who to blame. Us, there's who to blame for the, the costumes, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah. It's John Borman's wife. Life, who did the outfits, including the one oh. that Connery wears? Uh, that's what. Oh. Well done, Mrs. Borman. Mrs. Yeah. Borman was responsible for that. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> in, that's my, what he wears around. In, in my head canon, the flying elevator from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory evolved into this. It's still flying. I'm it's having now, some more pina colada, man. <laughs> because it's so tasty. Yeah. Awesome. I know. I'm on my third pina colada. <laughs> This is, it feels Thank like so a much. very male movie. It is a very male movie. Yeah. It is clear that straight men are responsible yeah. for this film. Yeah. And and you said he had just directed Deliverance, which yeah. is a very... Written, <laughs> produced, and directed. <laughs> mm-hmm. like Nobody would help me on this. <laughs> Nobody I asked. Yeah, yeah. Nobody else agreed <laughs> to, to be a part of this. I had to get my wife. <laughs> I had to get my wife to do the costumes. She yeah. was super annoyed with everything. That's yeah, she was right to be. Do you think that she uh, repeats the lines to him when they're like in bed at night? Uh, he's trying to get sex. The gun is good. <laughs> the the penis, penis is evil. evil. I mean, that's what I already say. So. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Where the the guns come from? Is this is where ba- oh, this is where baby guns come from. <laughs> Wait, what? They're hiding. The wee- oh, he's in the, he's in the, the head. Sean sure. Connery is inside the Zardoz. Zardoz. Yeah. <laughs> You sneaky Does he have devil! Like a thrush and there are What's there are happening? people who have been appear to have been like vacuum sealed for freshness sure. uh, <laughs> inside oh, Zardoz. There you go. A lot yeah. of titties everywhere, Sean. They're, they've been carbonated. <laughs> yeah. So see that thing he's wearing is a bandolero. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. got his ammunition in. Yeah, it. it's totally useful. He's got thigh high boots. <laughs> yes, very useful. Yeah, I know. Uh, some um, kind of and red some kind diaper. of a diaper sort of thing. Is this movie supposed to make sense? Um. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I, you can argue whether it does or not, but I think it's supposed to. There was an episode of Star, the original series of Star Trek, called "The Cloud Minders," mm-hmm. that was about mm-hmm. how the one percent lived up in the clouds, and all the people down below had were, had to do like the grunt work. Mm-hmm. That's got sort of a similar vibe to this. This is why the bags now tell you not to to do that, you know, because all these people died. <laughs> I feel really bad for these poor actors yeah, know, who had to do this, like. Yeah. It could not have been comfortable. I think they died, a few of them. (laughs) (laughs) There's also an episode of the original series called The Apple, which is about a a civilization that worships a giant dragon head that turns out to be a supercomputer. You uh, recall the white haired You'll recall the dragon body. You'll recall the white haired, orange bodied people of the Apple, right, Aaron? Hmm. That was a long time ago that we watched that. Sure. (laughs) Did the Cloud Minders have Droxine? That was that the was episode Drug with Droxine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Droxine, uh, one of our best episodes. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should go back and listen mm, to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in the 90s. <laughs> so this is Floaty Head Guy from the beginning, from mm. the prologue. Uh, is Dar- Zardoz like his ship or something? Yeah, how much do you want me to tell nah, you? Nah. <laughs> we just want to, I just want to guess and then say, I was right at the end. Uh-huh. <laughs> or no. So is this like a Wizard of Oz type thing? Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, he damn, shot, he shot Zardoz. Zardoz. Like, not cool. <laughs> totally not cool. <laughs> well, according to Zardoz's philosophy, it's not too bad. Sean, you have inadvertently stumbled on the big twist of Zardoz. Oh, what? Let Say me. what you just said again. It's a Wizard of Oz thing. What do, Take the W and the I off of Wizard, yeah. and what does it say? Zardoz. Zardoz. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep and then he just flew out of there yeah he he was supposed to have plummeted to his death but he looked like he just kind of floated away <laughs> sort of like the uh, greatest american hero well and where did he go the bronx so is he the master what of the head you? now the headmaster uh, he is not is the headmaster is it gonna crash it's a great gonna title crash. oh that is what they should call whoever's in charge. Whoever's of that. in charge yeah. of the head. Call that guy the headmaster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna ditch. 
No, oh, yeah, you got it. It's hard to land a Zardoz. <laughs> a water a landing. landing. <laughs> Get oh your. It's, he's the Sully of the Zardoz yeah, clan. Yeah, this is a miracle. He is not on Zardoz piloting like... Zardoz. <laughs> <laughs> he should. <laughs> no, Do he's... those people in the bags are they the ones that pilot Zardoz? <laughs> You know what never gets explained? Who those people in those bags are. <laughs> <laughs> what explanation would be uh, even... Oh, uh, yeah. What are you going to find satisfaction? What I will tell you about this movie is it is both a simple story and also way overstuffed with a bunch of extra Shit. stuff that doesn't need to be in there. Oh. It is both simple and overly complex. Oh, now it because like the basic plot, once you sort of understand it, is pretty good i mean it's pretty straightforward science fiction i feel like john borman had too many ideas and just tried to cram every idea he had into this one movie because even though it's only an hour and 46 minutes long it's stuffed full of weird sci-fi concepts that each one could be a movie by itself and he's got them all in this one movie so it feels like overstuffed well he was imaginative for sure mm -hmm. so i like that sean connery doesn't say anything for like about 15 minutes at the start <laughs> yeah, of this movie. Say, i'm just hasn't... watching him work that outfit he hasn't yeah. had any dialogue is yet is this filmed in europe it's... somewhere it was filmed in ireland john borman is a Brit is okay. a british filmmaker yeah, the architecture looks yep they shot it in ireland i have to admire sean connery's commitment right like yeah you have to have some Big ass balls mm -hmm. to wear that out to be like, yeah. yes, I, I will does. wear this I movie. Think that's clear. I yeah. will wear this outfit <laughs> no, for this entire. Basically, he wears that outfit for like ninety percent of this movie, mm -hmm. and then he puts a wedding dress on. <laughs> well, that outfit says a lot. So yeah, you don't really need much dialogue. So yeah, I, the <laughs> outfit does not do him any favors. Like. It doesn't not do him favor. No, I, just, I just don't like the I, cut. I, I don't I think the like cut. I feel like it makes him look a little pudgy. And if you were doing That's it fine. now, if you were doing it now, it yeah. would be some. It would be one of the Hollywood Chris's, and they would be yeah. just completely jacked. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sean Connery I, just has like fit, like a normal, a a normal yeah. body. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> a normal, he's yeah. keeping he it tight he though. He's keeping it tight. Yeah, he's in. He's like in decent. You know, shape. He's he's in, not, uh, he, yes, of course. He's How in, old is he when he makes? He's it? not like what you what you would sure. do it now if you were going to yeah. see. Yeah, you would like. like movie you, stars were allowed to be a lot less like yeah in shape in the old. Like when you see even like you see like movies where Steve McQueen takes his shirt off and it's like mm. he's just got like a normal in shape body. Yeah. yeah, he was he was forty four when this came out. Right. Mm. So you know he was in his early forties when he was making it. I actually like that he's not super built out and and totally toned and muscular. Oh, right so we were just we're used to now. This was the '70s. Nobody <laughs> was then. I mean, it. This is a movie. Watch this. He's like, it's playing. You can't hear it, but it's playing. Pop goes the weasel. Hell yeah! What? <laughs> <laughs> I love his little like afraid reaction to the pop goes the weasel. <laughs> you know, nobody's been to that corner of Oz in a long time. So take out the I like that when he goes the into the he starts exploring <laughs> and it's just like a normal house. Like yeah. it's supposed to be twenty two ninety three, but it looks Th like this is a normal house. I mean, it's not like a fantasy. It's not like a sci fi house. It doesn't look like Star Trek. Yeah, it just looks like somebody's house that they've put a bunch of weird stuff in. Mm -hmm. Definitely a collector of oddities. Ah, now he's found a magic ring. What? <laughs> so the ring is like um, communication device. It's, or it's a... like the it's like their connection to the main computer. Ah. So they all they all have them when you see when you see the other people who live in this in where he is now. They've only invented projector technology. Yeah, that's like me earlier when the Zardoz was on my chest. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So all of the people who live in the vortex have these rings that they use to communicate with the mainframe, basically. Uh. Oh, it's not real. <laughs> uh, meat, not real. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the guy he shot again. Again? Okay. But he doesn't have the drawn on... He doesn't have the goatee in this. Uh. No. He just he's... got drunk one night and his friends had a Sharpie. <laughs> you know how it goes. Oh, so that what we were watching was just... <laughs> it just happened after yeah. a bachelor party yeah, where he was the first one like... to fall asleep. It's, this is totally just a dungeon master thing. It's uh, giving know. me decoration ideas for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I There's feel like, like 
we could recreate. Like, face on the head. On the wall. And then look at Zardoz ceiling. And we can do this you for sure. This. You could get a Zardoz face probably online somewhere and put it. Look at that picture wall. of a rock hanging yeah. mm-hmm. in the, the sky. The yeah. NFT for that sold for five hundred thousand dollars. So <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Oh wow. What? Uh oh. Penis bad. Gun good. Penis bad. Gun good. (laughs) How soon his virtues are tested? Uh, Oh, he's uh, he's all about the fucking, as you will learn. Oh, wow. He's down down to pawn far. Yeah. How does Zardoz feel about all that? Well, Zardoz is anti fucking. Yeah. But he's not. Sean Connery is not Zardoz. He's going to be his own man. Sean Connery had some rewrites of the script. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, so he's really against uh, he's, uh, the purity of the, of the non-sexual. He's like, nah, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> nah, nah. No, that's fine. Him. That's fine. But he still fucks, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, sure, Sean. Yeah, Sean. Sure. He's like uh, Captain Picard when yeah. uh, he wanted to go okay, to Riza. So let's say he, they couldn't get... They they couldn't get uh, what's his name uh, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. And then what happens if they couldn't oh. get? There's some Connery. boobies, you guys. Yeah, that's oh. Impressive. My guess is that those are some, who's the next those are some 70s natural. <laughs> that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Unenhanced boobies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I also like Sean Connery's Respect. more natural body. You know, I I, I miss. This. I like that the little diaper thing he's wearing does not fit him well at all. That, that's the what? only thing I would change, though. I would it's change. Bun- like, it's I would just bunching change up all over the place. Yeah, the bunching is like you're fine with everything else except that. Huh? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're gonna do it, do it. Nothing else about that bothers you. Nah, not I mean, really. Uh, All right. Hey. Uh, Sean Connery even has the Burt Reynolds uh, mustache right there. Yeah, you can kind of tell that this was meant to be Burt Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, yeah, that's it's basically I'm... Burt Reynolds. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, But who would be Did the you... backup plan when Sean pulls out? Is, do we get Selleck? Who's the third in yeah, line? Yeah, Tom Selleck. Would Tom there Selleck be? Selleck. Really? <laughs> yeah. This is too early for Tom Selleck. It would have been yeah. early. Yeah. Oh. He, would have been, he wouldn't have had the... I don't know who the <laughs> third in baby. line is <laughs> no. once Burt and Sean both back out. Oh, man. That would Jerry be Reed. Choice, There's though. some older Hollywood guys that might... Work. Wow, that's a really artistic shot. Like a right Robert there. Mitchum that type or something. Yeah. yeah. Go back to those. That's that what they crew. would probably do. Yeah. Brian yeah. Denny. Clark be a, Gable. Be a, Land, Burt be a 60 year old Burt Lancaster. Yeah. Clark Gable could pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> Clark Gable was dead. <laughs> so the thing that they're Is trying to dead? tell you. <laughs> He's still dead? Is he still dead? Well, unless things have been changing on that front. <laughs> he was still dead. Oh, mm. Handmaid's Tale the early years. I'm going to just. Is this the woman in a lake? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, she's got powers. Oh. She just powers. Okay, so how much do you want to know about what's happening? Is she uh, a hints, ghost? Hints? Hints? I would like a hint. Yeah. I don't... They oh, have... Oh, he's speaking now. Yeah, he speaks now. The, the people who live in the Vortex, you're going to find out that they're called the Eternals. Mm-hmm. And they have, like, psychic powers. So if they stare at you, they it causes you pain. That's what happened just then when oh, he, like, threw his gun blast. and fell over. You in the, on the, When you listen to the sound, it makes a weird sound when they do it. So that's how you know what's like happening. Like your headphones did that time? Yeah. It, <laughs> it, no, it's more like... It goes more like... Is this, is this where that famous um, shot from him is on this? Like, can I, feel like I just this say is... I like that he has almost nothing on and she has a lot of fabric on. This yeah. is a nice <laughs> reversal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a good ratio. Mm-hmm. But did yeah. you see how they filmed him? He looked like a little miniature leprechaun yeah. in the <laughs> bottom left of the screen there. <laughs> I thought it was like Darby O'Gill and the little people. Uh, one of his finest They were playing with that forced perspective. Mm-hmm. They really were. Oh. So she's trying to like get in his mind. Read his mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But it's all just like shooting, killing, <laughs> it's like, not his fucking. His name right? is Zed. His name is Zed. Oh. Zed for Zarda. <laughs> <laughs> now, you said they're called the Eternals? No, the, the people who the live in the vortex. We can. Now we, now we know how we get Sean Connery into the He DMCU. is having so much fun, guys. Look at how happy he is. Like, oh, wow. Killing that's us. not cool. Oh, no. Oh, she rolled too much. <laughs> Well. So now he's lying. Uh, <laughs> Can we talk about the decor really quick? Because it is amazing. <laughs> okay, it's a lot to take in. Um, See, now that, he... That's how what we need to make the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So is that he's raping this woman? Like that's what. But happening. I thought the penis is evil. The penis is evil. That's why it forces you to rape him. Uh, hmm. 
It's complicated. It's Wait, not what, straightforward. What is this a flashback? This, they're this scanning memory. his memories. memories. Oh. Okay, yeah. He's he's in like a, a a memory chamber, and they're like they're a pyramid. They're trying. The woman in the red, her her name is May, uh, and she's one of the main people. All right. And she's and the woman on the left, her name is Consuela, and she's uh she. These are the two sort of main female leads of the movie. I like Consuela's codpiece. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, they there's a, a podcast I listen to. They talk about the the, the Helen. <laughs> That's so casual. The, the what? The, the so idea casual. of the Helen shot that guy right in the is head. Is that yeah. like? When you have like a movie that's got all the men have really cool names, mm. and the woman is called like Helen, right? Yeah. This is one of those cases. He's Zed. The, his name is Zed and Zardoz, and her name is May. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, man, Consuela. <laughs> Consuela is pretty. That's that's a little more interesting than May. It's so it's out, so out there though. Yeah, it's just so for her to be named Consuela. Is this where they get Zed's dead from? Maybe. Hmm. No. Uh, uh, what are these <laughs> naked bodies doing on this pyramid glass? Ask Michelangelo, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. That's the way God created. They're they're in her lab. That May May is a scientist. That's uh, clearly lab decor. Yeah. <laughs> According oh, to Star Trek and space. looks like it was finger pla- finger painted. <laughs> Part to, partially. Oh, it's oh, it's a projector. Ah, and then some Zardoz head. Uh, can you skip a horde to the part where he's uh, <laughs> flying? <laughs> this wow. is this Zardoz falling out of the head. It, it is. <laughs> Wait, but how come he's like falling in third person? Oh, <laughs> you he, were he you were rem- seeing this earlier, man. What is your life? <laughs> how would he have? He wouldn't have been able to see that. Yeah, how he was he inside would... the head? Yeah. He wasn't, he didn't see it, he was just thinking about it. He was it. imagining it. I was like, oh, I bet that guy has fallen so He's far really right now. really good at imagining people falling. So Zardoz is also, oh, he died. Zardoz is also an immortal? No, he's uh, not an immortal if he died. Oh, uh, he didn't die. Oh. No, they, they can't die. Mm-hmm. Uh. See, he, there he is being sort of reborn. Uh, oh, <laughs> Okay, sure. Oh, In the plastic one? sheeting. Yeah, that's how the Eternals get constantly <laughs> oh, get eternalized. That's yeah. not cool. <laughs> what? Why not? The no. little baby inside the bag. That was a real baby. Oh. Baby in a bag. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It was a really popular product for <laughs> <laughs> the 70s. Yeah. She's got classic like movie hair right there. That's Charlotte Rampling playing uh, Consuela. She was a she was a pretty big movie star. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She looks like she could also be in Downtown Abbey. Downtown Abbey? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I call it now. Yeah. yeah. Downtown Abbey. Man, look. The, whew, She's those got outfits. a weird cod piece. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so does They all do. Yeah. Well, yeah, I see the gold. That's the, that's the style. Yeah, can't in punch the, that in triangle. The vortex. No. <laughs> it's pre-punched. Well, the penis is evil. You have yes. to remember yeah, that. Yeah, he means so protection they, against they that. They block that off. <laughs> No access. Mm, so they have penises too? No. What? So doesn't... now everyone from the Vortex has shown up to, check to out. see his to see check out this guy's memories. Raping and killing life. Oh. It's they don't really have a lot of movies, so <laughs> <laughs> Well like... they're eternals, so they've seen oh everything God. already, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's some that good. guy. Yeah. <laughs> his his nail nipple, nipple showing. Yeah. Some nipple in there. Showcasing. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. There's a there's so much visually going on. There is a lot going. I told you guys once the movie Where are started. These people they're <laughs> killing from. Yeah, like. Okay, let me give you just a quick yeah yeah give me give summary me, yeah. of what's going on yeah give please me. Sean Connery and all the people who live oh. on the out in the wilderness out in the outlands or whatever they're called they're called the Brutals and they okay. are violent and rapey as you see. And they worship Zardoz, but Zardoz has told them that the gun is good and the penis is evil. And their job, he's an exterminator. All those guys who wear the bandoleros are exterminators. And their job is to ride around on horses and kill the Brutals Mm. because it's uh, it's an overpopulation problem. Uh, they never really describe what the situation on Earth is right now, but the impression you get is that there's like a resource shortage. So the Eternals live in the vortex, and they um, oh. get all they take all the resources from the. They're the one percenters, and they're taking the resources from the planet 
And so the exterminators go around and kill to, you know, because there's too many people, basically. Right. So basically they're they're basically whether they know it or not are serving at the behest of the Eternals. Right. They worship Zardoz because they think Zardoz and is a god. Zardoz yeah. is a construct of Zardoz the Zardoz is a creation of the Eternals. Right. He's like the behind the wizards. He's he, Zard of Oz. He's yeah. Zard of Oz. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Boy, when I when they revealed <laughs> that in this movie, oh, I laugh. Did I'd you la- flip your wig? <laughs> Did you just like... There were two moments in this movie where... Three moments in this movie where I li- it literally made me laugh out loud watching it alone at home. One was uh, the, what, the when he shows up in the wedding dress. Uh, and the one was when you see the animated erections. <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And the third time was when you, they, they do the wizard of Oz reveal. Yeah. And you learn that that's where they got the idea to do this is from reading well, the wizard of Oz. I was looking at the name earlier to yesterday or in the day and I uh-huh. was just like, and I was, I just was trying to like do an anagram on it, like mm-hmm. just wondering it randomly. And I noticed that it had Oz in it and I was like. I don't know. I didn't, yeah, I, not a lot of Oz's. Yeah, not a lot of Oz's. So I kind of wondered if it it kind of had some kind of like... It just, does. Yeah. It's a direct quote. <laughs> but I didn't funny. think about chopping off the letters. I'm just like, I, I didn't quite get there. I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's just like mix or it, you know, something of Oz. Oh, they like his So body. here's the deal with the Eternals. <laughs> they have yeah. conquered death, but as a result, they've basically become sort of like... Sterile. Yeah, just uh, they don't have sex. They're, they just are over it. They're yeah, they they've, just yeah, boring, plateaued. They've become sort of like asexual, and Sean Connery has come in and is disrupting that because they're like, we've never seen a specimen like this before. So they're all kind of like what, they don't like that guy with his nipples showing. <laughs> this is a movie about how Sean Connery has to fuck a bunch of ladies to solve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what happens. You need a Pearl Harry free Ted- enough. Yeah. No, Sean, it has to be six. When, when, all right. It's all about it. This the, the subtext of this movie is all about how uh m- Man, we need more manly men, and like men have men in society have become pussified, and oh. only a real manly man can like solve pro- society's problems. <laughs> just licked him. Wow, that's not cool. And, the, and Sean Connery is a brutal, so he has like no in a function about things. Well, he just yeah, he's just sort of an uneducated like savage type, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So he just like like he didn't know what you know anything was when he got there it also reminds me of a clockwork orange and and what they were doing just then was arguing about what to do with him because may the scientist wants to study him and figure out what his deal they're also trying to get to the mystery of how he got there in the first place how he got inside uh, the vortex. Do we know how he got? I didn't see the transition for him getting. No, he. You will just see him, and he's there. Yeah. You, it, it's the. It's a. It's a mystery of the movie. Yeah. It, it will get revealed. They don't dress the like end. people that are done with sex. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, totally right. <laughs> but maybe it just because it doesn't God. matter. Yeah. So May the scientist wants to study him, and then and the other main Consuela is like, no, he's a danger. We can't uh, keep him. So they had a debate about it, and they see he just he just mind zapped him. Oh. They they decided to t- to give her three weeks to uh, conduct her experiments on him. Hmm. But he's also weirdly helping this guy, whose name is Friend, by the way. Uh. He's Sean Connery's friend, but his actual character name is Friend. Mm. The one who's whipping him. Whipping yes. Him? Oh. Hmm. You know, I like friends too. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It's like on that wait episode until he pulls of Friends. Him, wait until you see him pulling him in a ch- in a chariot. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, Sean Connery's gonna pull that guy around in a chariot. My friend, in a, like your friend. Like friend. Yeah. That's a good friend. This yeah. is the best movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does make me think of yeah, like these Greco-Roman statues. It's a it's a little, I don't know, weirdly Game of Thronesy as well. Such a. This is where we keep our marble crap. This is where we keep all our famous old statues. It's cool, I guess. It's like Hearst Castle. Yeah. Is this supposed to be Earth? It is. Oh. Just far it's in the future. It is Earth. It is Earth. 
Is this the after earth that uh, mm. Will Smith is going to come back to later? He's waiting for Zardoz to clear out. Wait, you... This is before the apes take over. Do you mean uh, the, the battlefield earth? No. No. After. Some digital frames. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. oh. Look at these wheeled vehicles. Yeah. And all the years go by. I see they only made it up to the 70s, apparently, in cars. It's got some... Watch Sean Connery poke a hole right through this painting. Like that's that Van Gogh? Boop. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Van Gogh blind. <laughs> He's strong, man. Poke right through a canvas. Mm -hmm. It's old, though. Uh, hundreds of years old. I'm poke a hole through this. <laughs> <laughs> he, he doesn't what understand. Is he, doing? he doesn't understand the concept of time. Yeah, he's supposed to be just like he, friends, like manservant, he's like cleaning up for him. Yeah. or something. He's never seen any of these things. Right. They're Ooh. like, he doesn't know what a clock is. That's crazy. And I wish you guys could hear it because. The way the Eternals all talk, I is can in, tell it's is a in mess. This very sort of like yeah. airy fairy uh -huh. kind of I, like. You can yeah. tell by the way they're walking. <laughs> like, can you believe it? Yeah, yeah. you can. You can. Feel and then Sean Connery's like, "I am a manly man. <laughs> my my penis will bring a, 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 yeah. a new society to born. Meaning to life." Consuela ponders. I thought he they he had come in the the head the he Zardoz did. head that flew. Wow. The they head don't like, know that. Did the head Watch land this. Watch there? this. So this is the entrance <laughs> to her lab. Watch him fall in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is it no, worth, it keeps happening. It's, I like it. Is it worth reshooting? No. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk in. Yeah. Don't you know? See, <laughs> she knows how to do it. He doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> he did pretty good. <laughs> he, got, he got in Man, man those giant on. party subs from Subway Yes, that's what I got for you guys uh, uh, Why did he get to break it? Breaking bread everybody, oh, But everybody yeah, they, just uh, they, they take the turns They, they take green. turns, I think hmm. Green bread, at least they have watermelon They had watermelon Yeah mm -hmm. Jesus, they, they're really accenting his chest hair there I He's mean, got like two inches of coverage I mean, We kind of get it, it up. visually I don't know <laughs> <laughs> <It's been groomed. laughs> they moosed it. Yeah, I mean, it's, they should. It's, it's really got gave it body. Out of it. Yeah, it's got body. But why are there the bodies on the those? Are the growing children? Those are the growing region of the when they do, when they get injured and they have to regenerate. There's mm. so much going on. In this movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like, uh, yeah. there's like it's too it's, much. It's too many yeah. ideas yeah. all coming yeah. at you at yeah. once. Like mm -hmm. too many yeah. sci-fi concepts that you have to absorb. I think they could have just movie. been like he wears that out. Outfit. Done. Right. Yeah. Like that's the world he's in. That would have been sufficient. Yeah. Right. You could have just made a movie need, about them down on the planet. You don't need the sous vide right? babies. Yeah. <laughs> just keeps them, cooks them at the perfect temperature. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's literally <laughs> impossible to overcook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what's awesome mm. about it. Those babies are guaranteed yeah, moist. It's yeah. going to be 135 <laughs> every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, don't people like uh, um, stories with a lot of depth and lore, Game of Thrones? and, I, and Not really. Uh, not everyone. <laughs> not. Actually, now that you have. Look, let's check no, out the oven. Not at all. Look, it goes in that side, and it comes out, and it's done. <laughs> yeah. It goes in that side. I need that shit. It comes out, and it's done. Yeah. That's how the oven works. As long as you like skinny bread, <laughs> you're fucking yeah. All you ever see them eating, well, I guess you saw some, some uh, watermelon. Love that bread. They, I love that green it's green. Bread. They, yeah. uh, they eat nothing but baguettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all carbs. And they look great. Yeah. They look great. Oh, they figured it out. Those, they. That non-carb diet was a lie. It is a lie. Yeah, they're living forever and eating, looking great. He weirdly speaks to them in a language, in a weird language, and they don't bother to tell you what it is he's saying to them, and they never bring it up again. That's the worst sci-fi I've ever seen in the history of sci-fi. <laughs> See, now he's gonna start pulling him along. Uh, this is like a rickshaw. Yep. Uh, this is the best. Now, see, this is what happens when they fight. They uh, give each other the staries at each other. Oh, no. <laughs> and they just sort of like go ring the, around. The, the reason they showed you that is because Friend is explaining to Zed how the justice system in the Vortex works. Because they are eternal and they cannot die. 
they but they can get old. Mm. So the punishment for breaking the law in the vortex is that they artificially accelerate you oh. and make you older. <laughs> There's so much bad about that. That is shitty. <laughs> yeah. So you just have to be an old person. Well, and there's a whole colony of old people called the Renegades that we're going to really meet. bad. <laughs> there are basically three groups in the etern- of the of there's like the main Eternals, oh. friend and those gang. There's the Renegades who are all the old people who've basically been yeah, ejected exactly. from society. Mm. And then there's a third group called the Apathetics who have just gotten so bored with life that they just sit around and do nothing all day. That's we are group. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the old. I so these the are old. the renegades. Like these are the Ooh. old people. Oh, he's give, Who, throwing bread at him. He, he's on a bread delivery run. That's yeah. what he's doing. Oh my god! He feeds them, and they're having like an eternal <laughs> New Year's party. Door dashing the renegade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's oh the my god. These are the apathetics. See, they just fucking stand around. But they make some nice sculptures. I have a bread. <laughs> <laughs> at least she caught it. You have a bread. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bread. <laughs> oh, bread. <laughs> Make that bread. I was just like, uh, <laughs> this is what Paperboy the video game should be. That was the world's most frustrating game. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, see, oh they, well, I mean, they still look good, even though they're just doing zero. Uh, they're doing way less than they yeah. could be doing. So the other thing, there's the other subplot is that there's this trial going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What? And this is the this is the person that we saw him earlier, right? He was giving. They were watching him give testimony. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What the, they're they all have to judge. What is the verdict of this guy? Like everybody in the town, everybody in the all the Eternals, yeah. right? It's like social media of what to do with of what to do with Sean him. Connery. No, with the that guy, yeah. the, the blue hair. The oh, blue. what did he do? Yeah, I, it, I they don't even. I think they he said something you. blasphemous. I don't uh, even remember. They, it they doesn't matter. <laughs> I think he was posing questions that didn't like go along with society. Yeah, maybe that was what it was. Like it was some sort of heresy. No, would, you like to, would you like to bread her? <laughs> yeah, basically, that's exactly what he's about to tell her. He, he's about to say, go ahead. Go ahead. She's an apathetic. Like, the, she'll just lie there. Watch this. Boop. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to grab this girl right on the boob. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. And he tells him, go ahead and do it. Okay. And he's like, Watch fine. this. <laughs> Throws her right into the fucking corner. <laughs> Literally the fucking well. corner. <laughs> 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 but he's not into it because she he doesn't she's like it that fighting. she's just lying there. Nah. She's not fighting back. Oh. Come on. He's like, yeah, these are the apathetics, as you can see. As you can see by their behavior, they just do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so inevitably, just when everything is perfect for too long... Right. We, we give up. These are people who have lived so long that they, they they're just They've bored. seen it they all. They don't care They're literally anymore. bored to death because they are to undeath or whatever this is because they just can't be bothered. So. <laughs> <laughs> there, he, just, he, just, he just fucking throws her into the corner. Like a rag doll. <laughs> like, that was a real person. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is Sean Connery super strong in real life? Of see, course, the look at his chest hair. Oh, this is Chester. where he gets They're real like, metal. He minute. earns that sort of. See, see the apathetics uh, are. They've well, never seen, seen anybody Whoa, like him. Snapping mouth. Yeah. So they're Something starting. New. They're yeah. starting to snap out of their apatheticness. Oh my god! Can you imagine if Burt Reynolds was this? Like, they, <laughs> they would all be like dancing <laughs> in orgy now. I, I. This is not a good movie but it is i mean sean connery i've said this before he's invested like he's doing his best he's not penic huh <laughs> penic here, oh here comes the penis uh the erection art cartoon so these people because they're this how did it go from that do 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 <laughs> to that <laughs> they're like They've been uh, they've been sexless so long that they don't understand sexuality anymore. Ugh. And she's saying it's uh it's violence and fear that get men that get men erect. Hmm. Well, his uh, next movie Excalibur is also pretty violent and horny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that movie is pretty horny. That too. movie starts with a rape. Yep. Yeah. Sean Connery's that, in that one too, right? 
No. No? I thought he had no. a small Patrick part. Patrick Stewart's in it. Uh, Patrick Stewart. And a young Liam Neeson, I think. So they're going to show him porn now? <laughs> to like try you and, do. To try and uh, get him to get a hard on. Science, to try and man. figure it out. Oh, the 70s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when they would put porn in real movies. It's like the new Kinsey here. <laughs> I was literally laughing <laughs> out loud watching this. I could not believe it, what I was watching. Wow. Oh, man, they need to fix the tracking. <laughs> that's his boner meter. That's, oh. how they, that's how they know if he's turned on. <laughs> Is that that's uh, medium? That's no effect at all. No. Well, he doesn't like titties. <laughs> oh. He does he's like more titties. Of a he doesn't man. like clean titties. No. He doesn't. Yeah, he's like, this is not dirty enough oh, there we go. for me. Yeah. No. So some mud wrestlers. You've mud, seen his. You've oh, seen yeah, his mud memories. wrestling. Mm-hmm. Go is straight that still to going the rape porn. Yeah. Come on. Right. Is What's mud wrestling happening? still going on? Porn watchers in the crowd. I don't was think yeah. mud no, wrestling think in the seventies. So. Yeah, I think it was more of a because uh, you'd see that in seventies movies. Yeah. Yeah. Global warming ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> but now he's getting a boner. Oh, even though they're not showing him anything. What's he getting a boner about? Uh, Consuela? It's about Consuela. Uh, He's thinking about fucking Consuela. Wow. (laughs) Hello. I'm glad everybody in this room doesn't have a meter on them. (laughs) (laughs) Because it would really piss off Consuela that we're not attracted to. (laughs) And they're all like, wow, he got you. He likes you. Congratulations. They're basically, (laughs) you're amazing. And then it just cuts to some random (laughs) animal shots. (laughs) National Geographic. Uh, like all the animals. All didn't. right. <laughs> um, that was a goofy. That ring was pop? a charming underbite. <laughs> ring, ring pop. Yeah, they have to talk to their ring pops. Oh, do the Eternals not sleep? The Eternals don't sleep. Oh, oh man, exhausting. <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, how many years of that do you think it would take for us to become apathetic? Uh, Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> not even. <laughs> How long we've been doing this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not apathetic. Oh, in order to do this. don't go for the junk. He likes a little foreplay. <laughs> Take me to dinner first. Mm. He wasn't sleeping at all. Nah, he was faking her out. How can you pretend to sleep? Uh, are they gonna bone soon? Does he have his normal accent? He does. He just sounds like Sean Connery. Oh, Sean Connery is not capable of not sounding like Sean sure. Connery. Sure. I mean, why would he not want to? Exactly. Uh, He's got to be all up in heaven now. Trebek. <laughs> now that he had it, I can't even do it without I have to hear. <laughs> so what she's done is, this is supposed to be a DNA <laughs> like analysis oh like, my she's God. Like, mm-hmm. that she's done on him. This is where Watson and Crick got the idea. Mm-hmm. As you can see here, you have cells. And yeah. what she's discovered is that he's, he's a oh. mutant. Oh. Unlike the other... Brutals. Did it make him smarter? It makes him like a perfect specimen of humanity. Of course it does. She's about to say that he has to- like he's, he has the potential to become super smart because he's he doesn't know anything. His but brain he has the is so big. To, right. And his penis is so large. And his penis is the solution. And, to and it works. That's the most yeah. important thing. What are they trying to fix that his penis fixes? Well, it's going to fix... Uh, it's the Eternals fix, don't have much to live. Like it's going to give them all a reason to live. Uh, yeah, they don't have babies. Right, right. So, the, so there's no fucking and no babies, and he's going to solve both of those problems. So they don't have babies. It's just them, and if it's they die, just they them come back, again, and they never so, die, uh, and they get punished by being made old, and then you have to go live in the other mansion with the older old people. Mm. But if you get too old and then you die, then you still you come back as a baby again. So yeah, it's just like a punishment for some years. Yeah. All right, back to the big table. Yeah. So they're all having, they're all <clears> eating <throat> now. Passing around a big loaf of bread this time. He's I... giving them meatballs. It looks like. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> is she talking about his penis? Put that thing outside. Oh no, no, he's talking about the whole guy. The whole guy, yeah, not okay. just his penis. <laughs> Put that thing outside. <laughs> My God! I like the um, the leaves uh, above the table. It's uh, it's very <clears throat> bacchanalian. And they have this sort of like uh, socialistic structure where they all take turns doing all of the chores, making the bread, cooking the meal. It's like a commune. It is kind of like a commune, yeah. Mm. 
But they're like the elite that are sort of doing it because it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not because they really got to work hard. Yeah. So what's the tension here is that he's using... Sean yeah, they're Conner. not supposed to use man help. <laughs> yeah. And it's just that Sean Connery's presence is just disrupting everything. Well, it's, it's really disrupting it my ability to focus my eyes on anything else. <laughs> <laughs> because they can't they they can't decide what to do with Sean Connery. And some of them like having him around, and some of them don't. Mm, Cuz she's like destroy it. Right. But see, some of them are into him. Yeah. Well, he's not going to let himself get destroyed. No, well, we're going to take a vote. They vote on everything. Hair. They've also conquered hair in this day and age. Oh, do the hand gestures. Oh, they, they do oh. The, oh. the special voting hand there's gestures. Yes, there's yes vote and no vote. <laughs> <laughs> which is which? They all have different hand yeah, gestures. Yeah, that was like yeah, a baseball were, game. They're not universal. I wish you guys could hear the sound <laughs> to this movie because the sound is crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the hand gestures. Yeah. Uh, what else do I know Charlotte Rampling from? I know the name, but what movies? Uh, let's see. What movies would you I'm have seen her in? Uh, She's French, right? Oh, are they singing? She now? is British. She's British. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to think of what I've seen. Basic Instinct 2. <laughs> That's what you know her from. <laughs> you're con you're re continual yeah. rewatching of basic. Instinct. They're doing theater exercises now. I think I know her more from the seventies. She's going to be in the new Dune movie. Oh, She's still wow. around? Yeah. <laughs> this thing is hanging too low for the shot. <laughs> <laughs> the shots. <laughs> they went a little crazy with the grape leaves. Are inside. they playing light as a feather, stiff as a board? What's happening? They've made a decision, and they. And they're now they're like doing their their meditation. This is what they do instead of sleep. And he doesn't want to do it. Friend the doesn't want to do it. Is this oh. a good place to meditate yeah. and pause? Yeah. Wait. Uh, let's just wait right up until this little bit ends because <laughs> I'm being hypnotized. He's being <laughs> punished because he is he's not agreeing to go along with the group. Oh, what sort of democracy is that then? They took a vote. Yeah, and they voted to get rid of him. They voted to keep him for seven more days to let May finish her experiments. And what and does Friend want? Him. That's different. He wants him to live as a servant? Yeah, I think Friend's w Friend was like arguing to keep him around. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's doing some kind of confessional. Yeah, they're like mindy. They're like mind zapping him. Oh, mm -hmm. they're, and they're all pulling it out of him. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. they're now friends and going getting. He's getting turned on. He's gonna get aged and sent to live with the renegades. Uh, oh, you gotta go live with the cocoon set. Yeah. I don't know. It looked like pretty fun in there. Yeah, it looked like they were having like a. They looked like they were having like a costume yeah. party. Yeah, maybe. there was, there was like sword fighting going yeah. on outside. Yeah. It did look pretty fun. I Cast mean, him out. Definitely I mean, better look at... than the apathetics. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. I, I, yeah. <laughs> no, Renegade. No. Uh, He's really playing it up. Renegade. <laughs> this scene goes on for a while. Yeah. <laughs> we Ten get hours it already. later. But they, but they, <laughs> they <laughs> like, we get it. He's a renegade. Like, you did, you told us. Did anybody edit this movie? <laughs> Or is it it's just, all just raw footage. Just the raw footage. <laughs> just, yeah. They shot it this in is, order. This is the exact order it was shot. <laughs> this is just the cast party. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it. Sean Connery is like, this is bullshit. He's like, he's dead. Do I get to fuck it now? Yeah. <laughs> Sean. Wait. Sean. Uh, Are yes. you a renegade? Are you a what? An outlander? A, a brutal? Brutal? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah let, we'll t we'll talk in the second half about whether we would be brutals, <laughs> brutals, eternals, apathetic, or renegades. Said, you know I'm going to be an apathetic. So now he's like, that freaked him out watching them punish friends. Yeah, so now he's trying to escape, mm. and what he's going to realize is that there's an invisible wall. <laughs> <laughs> Do not. Ask. He's literally doing. He's literally doing he's like mind, mind yeah. work in this yeah. movie. Oh, Do no. not ask Sean Connery to mime this stuff, please. Oh, wow. Even I could tell. And I'm but then they put a real thing up so oh. that he could smear his face on it. Yes. And this is where we will pause the movie. On the shot of Sean Connery <laughs> no. pressing his face up against oh, a, yeah. some that's sort of... That's not all that's pressed up there. You can say it. Wow. We're 53 minutes and four seconds mm. into the movie. Into this adventure. And we're now in year 2293. And it's now the year 2293. 
<sighs> oh my god wow. let's go back how are you guys feeling after the wow. first half oh, of the impressive. Impressive. lots That's of feelings amazing yeah i just it's everything i promised right yeah. like it's i told you it was crazy yeah. it's uh, a meal i was yeah. titillated that was only half yeah there wow. yeah. and just think about mm -hmm. all of the various like science fictional concepts that have been thrown at you yeah. in this movie yeah. like overpopulation it's, stuff uh, there's yeah too much going on in this Jazz. movie yeah Amazing. For a movie that has a pretty simple theme about, like, manly men are better than pussy boys, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of complicated other stuff going on in it. Is there going to be enough time for us all to squeeze one out before uh, we get back to the second part? <laughs> we haven't even got to the fucking yet. Oh, boy. He hasn't started fucking his way to being king of Zardoz. Uh, I want to hold back. Memories. All right, we'll we'll catch you next time. Well, right, that's I guess. Uh, thank you all very much for listening to <laughs> yeah. Warped. I I am even I I mean I know I saw it yesterday, but I'm still like, mm -hmm. it's a lot to yeah. take in. Yeah. Slaps you in the face. It's a yeah. lot to take in. I might have to eat a gummy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all very much for listening to Warped. Please go to iTunes or wherever you get your podcast to rate, review, and subscribe. You can email us at warpthepodcast at gmail dot com. Follow us on. Instagram at Warped the Podcast. We're on Twitter at Warped Trek. I am at Host Warped. You can follow Min to learn about our Dungeons and Dragons and Call of Cthulhu podcasts, including our new Call of Cthulhu podcast, Off the Wagon, Off the wagon. Season One, available now. It's really good. Uh, and Min's at Wet Maynard. And most importantly, go to patreon.com slash warped, become a subscriber, get access to bonus material and additional episodes. Thanks for watching. Sean, back to you. Well, come back next week for, for the thrilling conclusion. Sardoz part two. Oh, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. So if you listen to this one, you're going to want to watch, listen to that one. Oh, for sure. So. But for some reason, more people will see the next yeah. part. <laughs> next one is when against it really the, fires up. Against all logic and reason. Until that time, my name is Sean. My name is Matt. I'm Jake. Philippe. Aaron. And I'm Minwin. Good night, everybody. Yeah, Zardoz. <laughs> wow. Right? Are you yeah. happy? Oh, I'm, nice. I'm super happy. <laughs> is it living up to all of your uh, like, expectations? Crazy. Totally crazy. She has a lot of expectations. It, but I think this movie got... exceeds expectations yeah, in the weirdness categories.